Joshua Besix Joshua.Besix at Gateline.com Seattle, Felix Hernandez and Justin Verlander share several similar pitching statistics. Both veteran right-handers made their MLB debuts in 2005. Both have frustrated American League batters for the better part of 15 seasons, started more than 400 games, and have impressively low career eras, Hernandez at 3.34, and Verlander at 3.39. But as strikingly similar as the numbers are, it was Verlander, the Houston Astros ace, who had the edge in the fifth career meeting between the two former all Cy Young winners Saturday night at T-Mobile Park, which culminated in a 3-2-1 loss for the Mariners. Seattle, which rocketed to the best start in club history, and is still clinging to the best record in baseball at 13-4, has now dropped back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. Verlander, 2-0, 3.52 era pitched brilliantly in his third outing of the season, taming a Mariners offense that was averaging five runs off of opposing starters entering the game. He's just the third starter Seattle has faced this season that has completed six innings, joining Angels Trevor Cahill and Kansas City's Jorge Lopez, though the Mariners rallied against relievers to win both of those games. The only blunder Verlander made came in the fourth, when he left a fastball in the zone that Mitch Hanniger unloaded for his fourth home run of the season. The solo shot to center was one of only two hits the Mariners managed against Verlander, who struck out 11 batters, six consecutive at one point, walked none, and retired 18 of the 20 batters he faced. Daniel Vogelbach's leadoff single in the fifth was the only other knock on Verlander. Hernandez delivered a satisfactory outing, and pitched well enough to give the Mariners, who were averaging nearly eight runs per game entering Saturday, a chance. Five days after leaving his last start just one inning into the game, Hernandez 1-1, 4.38 worked through six innings, allowing three earned runs on six hits, striking out five and walking one. But, the three runs, he allow, on two solo homers to Robinson Chirinos and Jose Altuve, and an RBI single to Michael Brantley, gave Houston enough room to collect the win. Altuve's 411-foot home run to center was his fifth in as many games, and his seventh of the season. He is now tied for second in the Allen homers with Mariners slugger Jay Bruce. Mariners reliever Brandon Brennan threw a scoreless frame in seventh, and Connor Sadzik did the same in the eighth and ninth but the offense couldn't scatch across another run following Hanager's smash which extended the club's home run streak to 17 consecutive games. The Mariners were retired one, two, three, six times during the game, including four of the innings Verlander pitched. Vogelback and Tim Beckham recorded back-to-back two out hits in the seventh, but Omar Narvaez grounded out second when that scoring threat. The next six Mariners were retired in order to end the game. Untap Mariners left-handed ace Marco Gonzalez, 4-0, 3.16, is scheduled to take the mound for the series finale against Houston at 1.10 p.m. Sunday, right-hander Garrett Cole, 0-2, 3.32, is the projected starter for the Astros. The game will be telecast on Root Sports Northwest, and broadcast on 710 ESPN Radio.